Hey, Hypersonic X2 here with my 500th video special! Yeah! But seriously, I can't believe I've put up 500 videos. Just, wow. So, enough of me going on about how much I've done. Uh, so, the winner of the question I put up on which version of the game I want to do for it The winner was the NES version, of course. Now, I'm going to say this right now. Um, the NES version, in my opinion, is harder in terms of it, the damage you take from everything is, well, more. But, and you walk slower, I've noticed. So it is going to take longer to do, period. Just because of the fact that you just don't walk as fast as in the Genesis. But other than that, nah, it's all good. And I do have to admit, someone pointed it out. I do like the music better in this one than the Genesis version. I don't know why. It's just, the music's better. I like it. with the intro, which it actually is a pretty decently long intro for an NES game, I mean, come on. Actually, this whole entire game is pretty damn large for an NES game, I mean, jeez. The cool dude. I just love some of these descriptions. The wise one. Also the old one. That's implied. Peace, man. Hmm. I wonder what his personality is like. And then we restart. Alright, so here's the story. One single page worth. Daisy has been captured, oh no, by the evil wizard Zax. Only Dizzy is brave enough and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate. Leaving the safety of the yoke folks thing. Hey, I didn't know there was a time limit. How dare you? I was busy reading that. But yeah, I love that last line. Leaving the safety of the village. Um safety of the village? Dude, this village ain't safe. Villages ain't nothing close to safe. Jesus, you can walk outside your door and get murdered by a spider in five seconds. This place is evil. I can't believe you live here. Alright, I know I didn't mention it because, well, I wanted to leave it till now, but you notice these little stars that I kept picking up in my thing? 99. Yeah, there's a hundred. And guess what? You need to collect every single one. Every single one. Why? Because once you have every single one, it destroys the barrier that's protecting the final battle area with you and Zax. Yeah. So... Have fun with that. And... Before I... Well, before I... Whoa, better pause that. Don't want that to hit me while I'm... Before I get into Tomb Far, I am going to be save-stating. And it's not because I can't beat it without it. I have. It's just... It's been a long time since I've played this game. Most of this stuff, I'm probably going to be forgetting what the hell I'm doing, or that, and this game is really long, and yes, it does have a damage meter, but the fruit that you heal yourself with doesn't come back. Ever. So as you get farther and farther in the game, you have less and less healing items. So, basically, I just, the save states are just for the fact that I really don't want to have to restart because there are no continues, there are no checkpoints when you die, it's just period. You start over, like most NES games, and I am not doing this game more than once. So, I'm using save states. Deal with it. I'm not going to abuse them, but I'm going to try to... I mean, I'm going to try to not have to use them much at all, but... 
and will be using them. Holy crap, asshole. That was just mean. Alright, uh, let's see. What do I have? Denzel. Alright. I need that. Okay, let's see. Hey, get up. this now. Empty medicine bottle, I believe. Yeah. I do love when you grab this because of the sprite limitations. Whenever you grab a star, it makes everything disappear. I'm safe stating. For shit like that. No, that didn't happen. You can get extra lives, but... Considering how easily you can go through them, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I believe that umbrella is pretty much useless. I think it, like, protects you from water and stuff that's dropping on you. But, other than that, I, don't, I really don't use it. Alright, why did I come here again? Also, I hate the town. It's nothing but these giant long hallways full of mice that freaking kill you. Alright, let's see. I need a bag of gold before that stupid ogre goes away. And there's a pirate! Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like me. So I'm gonna avoid him for right now. What do I have? Dozy's dorky. Alright. I'm keeping that there because I'm going to need it later. Ow! Freaking stop it! I hate those birds or whatever the hell they are. Because they are so strange with their AI or programming or whatever. They can randomly do nothing when you walk by. Just fly in the air doing absolutely nothing. And then other times they'll dive bomb you and murder you in five seconds. I mean, really. So random. That's also part of the reason why I want save states. Sometimes the enemies just don't do what you want them to do and they'll murder you in five seconds. Let's see. I'll take this and I'll take this. Screw you, bottle. Oh yeah, I might as well do that right now too. Yeah, I'll save state because I need this life. Now this type of, this puzzle is, or this mini game, I'm really good at. This one I'm not bad at, but the other one, which I don't know when that'll happen, but it will happen, I suck. So, yeah. Alright, where's the bottom? Okay, oh, there you are. Oops. And it should almost be done. There we are. Hocus Pocus Busy Wizzy. Conjure up another Dizzy! Huh? Oh my god. Awesome. Alright. Oh, sh Ow! Dude. Not cool. And there's a random prince. He'll come into play later, if I remember right. 92. There's a ground elevator key around here somewhere. Oh. Okay. I think that's it. Yep, ground elevator. Alright, let's just use that right now. I don't like this guy. I always get hurt. I always get hurt by him whenever I'm traveling. Okay. There we are. I'm going to... let's see. 
I have no clue how long I've been recording. I'm going to finish the do everything I can in the treetops before I start moving on to other areas, so 